Hey you all, it is Vlogtober day 17. I'm just now getting in the shower. Oh my gosh, y'all, I've been up all day and I'm gonna need like an energy drink for sure. And I have to go to work today, so uh yeah. Sorry if the loud noise, I'm literally about to turn the shower on and I'm getting ready for work. <laughs> and then I will talk to you all after I get up the shower. Toodles. Hey you all, I'm going to do like a, oh my gosh, I'm parched, hold on. I am parched. Okay. Alrighty. I'm, gosh, what is wrong? Anyway, I'm literally getting ready for work. This is Milani, make it last. Take me back to my makeup days when I did makeup. Eh, okay. But y'all, I am about to literally like vent to y'all while I get ready. I literally need to hurry up. So if there's like parts where I'm not talking, I will definitely like take those out because I'm literally, I like have like, let's see what time it is. It's 5.39, I literally have to be at work at seven. So I usually leave, I usually try to leave at like 6.15, just because like, if we have new hires, I try to be there on time. Um, but yeah, I just need to vent. I've been doing Vlogtober, as y'all know, and I was just looking at my channel and I'm like, yo, why are my numbers not moving? Like... I was looking at my analytics and I was having a conversation with my mama. Y'all know we're close. And she has a YouTube channel. I've mentioned it before to y'all. And we were just having a really good conversation about like, like our content, like just different things. And I was just looking at my channel. I'm like, yo, why am I stagnant? I'm like, consist I could be consistent. One thing I've noticed on my channel is I could be consistent. Toodles. Hey, hey girl. Um, I could be consistent on my channel and then all of a sudden, like, it'll just, it won't grow. Are you serious? Hold on, y'all. I gotta change the battery. Alright, y'all. We are back. My little stupid camera battery didn't, like, went low. But anyway, I know, I just realized, like, I don't know how to figure out the settings on this camera, but my last video when I showed myself playing my makeup, my makeup looked like it didn't match. And I'm like, my makeup matches, first off. I'm not over here looking like Ghostface Killer. I'm gonna tease. Like I'm not over here ghosting folks, looking like a ghost. Hold on, let me put my makeup little cape on and get my towel so I don't spill anything. I usually put a towel on my lap so I don't spill any foundation because I have spilled foundation on my clothes in the past and got really upset. But yeah, my makeup does match because I was really irritated by that. Like, no one probably noticed it, but I noticed it. I'm like, yo, my foundation looks like it doesn't match. But, <laughs> like, it does. But anyway, like I was saying in the last clip, is like, we. I was, like, looking at my channel. I'm like, why am I so stagnant? Like, I literally have been stuck at, like, 304 followers, subscribers. It's like it, it goes between 300, I would say 301 to, like, 305. It'll jump to 305. I have 305 and then all of a sudden I have go drop down to 304 and I'm like yo I'm doing pretty much all like I'm doing videos that are clickable my thumbnails like just my overall quality of my channel I know it has improved like I know like okay in the beginning I know I would sound crazy like if I was like talking like this in the beginning when I first started my channel because honestly when I first started my channel my channel sucked um, like literally the quality of video side, like the thumbnails were not the best. I've done like my research to the point like in the beginning, like how to grow your YouTube channel. So it's not like I don't know what to do. It's like, I'm like, how do I get unstuck? Like I'm literally stuck at that number and I'm like really annoyed because I'm like, I could not be consistent. I can literally take a month, three months off is why I'd be taking so many month breaks because I'm like, I'm doing everything. <laughs> I can literally take months off of YouTube and literally my channel will grow. I can come back, post videos consistently, and 
literally lose like three subscribers. I'm like, what is going on? Like, I don't get it. Like, I really do not get it. Um, yeah, I don't want to seem like I'm complaining. There's a difference between complaining and venting. I would, I like to think of like venting as something that you kind of can't control. And then I feel like complaining is something you can control. You just ain't doing nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like people who complain, you're complaining and you know, you can do something about it. You just don't want to do anything about it. But with venting, it's kind of hard because like sometimes it can be obstacles in the way and you're like venting, you're expressing your concerns like, oh my gosh, like I want to try to make things change, but it's just out of my control. Like I can't make my subscribers grow. I mean, I can, but this is a lazy way, like paying for subscribers. Nobody want to pay for that. Like that's lazy. And I'm sorry if I offend anyone who has done that, but it's really lazy. <laughs> That just shows like you're like not genuinely like trying to me in my opinion like you're paying for subscribers i mean people i'm not knocking folks hustle but like yo that makes no sense Alrighty, i'll probably like i said some parts like when i'm not talking i'll probably like cut them because like i'm trying to like hurry up <laughs> in the same sense um because I know I can take a little tiny amount on my makeup, but yeah, I'm like, what's really going on? I promote my stuff. I have like a pretty fair, like, audience, I guess you could say. I My engagement on my Instagram is pretty fair, I would say. Could I do more? Yeah. Is it challenging to do more with a full-time job? Yeah, it's challenging, but that doesn't mean I'm not capable of doing it. It's just like, knowing how to plan out my stuff and stuff. That's why it's like, I can't really, I don't feel me having a full-time job is an excuse why I can't grow my channel because like, I know what to do. Like I know you can pre-film. I know that you can pick days out of the week, like to make time for it. So it's not that, it's just like, I think I'm more annoyed is that I know I set time aside to do that stuff and I don't see <laughs> no change. Like, I think that's what I'm more irritated with is because I know I'm taking the time to, like, dedicate time to my channel and I'm not seeing the outcome, if that makes sense. Like, I know, like, I'm taking the time. I mean, I might start having to make... I know someone suggested I make business cards. And... I just don't want to give nobody a business card because I feel some type of way if I saw my business card on the floor. Like, things don't fall that easily. I'm just like that type of person. And so I'm like, well, it could have fell out their pocket. No, things don't fall that easily. <laughs> like, like, things do not fall that easily. Unless, like, it's, like, not a fully, like, unless it's a circle. Like, obviously a circle is going to fall because it's not perfectly, like, equal-sided. You know what I'm saying? Like a ball is going to fall. But not no uh, business card shaped like a rectangle. I ain't stupid. But yeah, I'm just like, what is it? Like, what is it? Like, I don't know. I'm not talking about the people who are subscribed. So people, if you watch this, please don't get offended. Because like, People are sensitive nowadays and you have to like literally bite your tongue when you talk about certain things because people will literally be like sensitive and think it's about them and I'm like and if it's a, if you're getting sensitive then obviously you're probably the person that's the problem at that point but like I said I'm just venting because I'm just noticing that to the point where sometimes it makes me not want to post on my channel but then I do get encouraging words from people like keep going just keep at it and I'm like I keep at it but I don't see nothing. And I know you're not supposed to, like, live by sight. You know, you're supposed to live by faith and not by sight. I know that. You're not supposed to see everything. Obviously, you can't see nothing. But it would be nice if I, like... It would just be nice to just see my hard work paying off. But it just feels like I'm not seeing it pay off. I know, like... I just know what I do. And I know, like, the time I put in and the time I dedicate, like, weekends to where I, like take the time to film stuff for my channel and then I like take the time to edit. I have taught myself so much stuff to do over the past few years on YouTube. Like there's still a lot more for me to learn, but I just feel like I've gone out my way to do 
things to improve my channel, but it's like not working. <laughs> I'm like, it's not working. I'm like, the next thing I would, I feel is just, I need people to like, just support and like share my things. Cause that's literally the next thing. Cause like I said, I have a fair amount of people and I get people coming across my page that are like random people. So it's not like I don't have like traffic on my page. I do have traffic on my page. Like where I'll have like random people like comment and stuff and like message me and stuff. So it's not like I don't have the traffic. I don't, I only post my stuff on socials that I actually are, are active, that I actually have an active engaging um, audience, I would say. Because like when I post, when I used to post on Facebook, I literally, it was literally a waste of time literally a waste of time like I was just tired of posting to all my pages because I used to literally like when I started YouTube I literally used to post to every single platform that I was on and I found that it made no difference in my views my like engagement like it made no difference so to the point where I was like you know what let me go on a platform that's more like like people actually care about like my generation or I guess the people that my um, subscribers, they don't care for Facebook like that. And, like, when I post on Facebook, like, yeah, it's just a waste of time. I hate to say that, but it is It is for those who still use Facebook. My eyebrows look decent. Okay, I'm just going to go with these because I was going to make them look different, but I'll just keep my eyebrows like this where they look natural looking. I'll just keep it like this. I don't want to be here forever and I'm ready to hurry up. It's 5.51. I'm ready to like, I still have to fix my food for work. But yeah, I'm sorry y'all if I'm, if I'm just like venting, but like I literally just like, it's really hard to express this to people because like I said, some people are sensitive and they may get offended. Like if I'd be like, it'd be nice if people shared my stuff. Well, yeah, would it be nice if like people I consider friends share my stuff? Yeah, it would be nice. But I'm not gonna beg nobody. I ain't Fantasia, <laughs> boy. I ain't go. I ain't gonna beg you. Like, if you see, like, if even if you don't share it on your platform, share it with someone you know that's interested. Is what I ask. I don't like force people to subscribe to my channel. Like, haven't y'all noticed that? <laughs> like, does anybody notice that? No. Like, I don't force people to like subscribe. Like most people do. Like, I don't literally. I don't thirst for subscribers. I don't, but it would really be nice if like I can see like growth in my hard work, if that makes sense. It'd be nice if I can literally, you know, see growth from like what I'm putting out there. I want to get sponsorships. You know, I want to do like business ventures and stuff. I want to make my stuff a business, but I can't do that with not an, um, a credible audience if that makes sense because most of these companies they're going to want to sell and make a profit themselves so they're going to choose obviously someone else who's bigger with more um head count or subscriber count than me if they want to get their products promoted right because if i was a business i'd feel the same way i'd want someone that's like where it can reach a larger audience so that's the only challenge thing is it's like it's just you have goal when you have goals for your your channel and those goals are like kind of stagnant, it kind of makes you a little discouraged. It does. It makes me a little discouraged sometimes. And I'm like, I don't want to be that person. And yeah. I'm literally almost done with my makeup, y'all. Even though I hate my right eyebrow. But she just gonna have to do. Like, she's legit just going to have to do at this point. Because, like, I don't, I didn't give myself enough time to, like, fix eyebrows if they go missing and wrong. I mean, y'all might look at this and be like, girl, there is nothing wrong with your eyebrows. But y'all don't understand. You only understand if you're, like, an eyebrow person. But if eyebrows are, like, the least important thing on your face, you're not going to understand what I, what I feel about my right eyebrow. Like, you're going to look at my eyebrows and be like, I don't see what she sees, but someone who does their eyebrows are going to completely understand. 
So yeah. All right, you all. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the camera off so I can focus and finish my makeup <laughs> and getting ready. And I will see you all in the next vlog. Um, be sure to check out the ones I've already posted. I did create a playlist. Oh my gosh, please don't get me started with venting some more because I was about to say, and I've done that, and I've done this, all the stuff I've done. But yeah, I don't got time. All right. Toodles to my sunshine squad. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Where I go?